Hola peeps, how's it going? Rich, a one Yorker, back on your screens. It is Saturday the 26th of May. Been a little while. Um, haven't been out. I don't think I've actually been out wild camping this year. Uh, done a couple of hikes and stuff. I think my last one was before Christmas when I went up um, near Puch Mayor. Yeah, and it poured with rain. So, um, I am currently on the coast, obviously, because you've probably seen the sea. I don't know if you can see it behind me at the moment. What you can see is um, Estragonera, which is a little island off of the coast of San Elm. And um, it is a nature reserve. Uh, there's a lighthouse on it, which is going to probably keep me awake all night tonight. Um, and uh, yeah, you get little boat trips over to it. And there's also a race from one end of the island to the summit, which I think you can see, which is a good few hundred meters. And then down to the lighthouse and back again, I think, um, that's earlier on in the year. Um, yeah, it's a beautiful spot. I've been here before while camping, um, but that was one of those videos back in the early days that uh, I never got around to actually putting up. I don't know where the footage is now. Um, there was a cracking sunset that night, which is what I'm hoping for tonight as well. Um, I have to be a time lapse on the phone because I still haven't got the lens for the GoPro sorted. But um, you probably saw the uh, the yacht go behind me then. Um, yeah, the uh, sunset should be. Just to the right of the uh, of the island, um, and it's clear skies. Uh, I say that there's a bit of cloud up there, but it's light and it's high, so it shouldn't be a problem. Hopefully, it's around about 25 degrees today, um, and that's it now until probably early to mid November. So um, yeah, that's the the best of the camping weather gone. <laughs> Uh, well, best of the hiking weather. So yeah, just out for a one night in the bivvy bag tonight. Somewhere on the cliff top here. Not too close, obviously. Um, probably on this flat rock here. No chance of me rolling off the edge in the middle of the night. Yeah, it was a last minute thing, so I've just chucked a few things in the bag. Quite a heavy load for one night. Um, I've got the uh, non-waterproof bivvy bag with me, but it shouldn't rain tonight. And it should just, if it does get cold, it should just take the, keep the edge off. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it for now. I'll, uh, I'll show you around the place a little bit. So, it's only just gone half six. The sun sets at nine. So I'll just go for a little walk. There's a little tower up here. Uh, like a lookout post from days of yore. Somewhere around then. Yeah, I did think about uh, staying in that the night, but it's too easy to get to. It's right on the path. It's full of graffiti, so obviously people do visit in the evenings, I guess. And um, back around the point, um, there's loads of parking. So there's loads of wild campers around there, but in their vans and stuff. So. Uh, there's a really good chance that somebody's going to visit it this evening. So I'm going to um, chill out on the cliff on my own. Peace and quiet.
So when I said earlier that there wasn't any clouds and that it was going to be a perfectly clear night, well, you could probably see it's come over all cloudy. The sun is still up there, like way up there still. It's only seven o'clock, so we've got two hours until sundown. Hopefully the cloud will clear, but it'll probably be one of those famous Myokian sunsets where it's an absolutely perfect cloudless day and then boom thunderstorm from nowhere <laughs> and I'm in my non waterproof bivvy bag <laughs> oh well it'll be an adventure that's what life's all about That was very cool. Very cool indeed. He's still going. Damn this 1855 lens. Wish my big one wasn't broken. That would have been incredible bit of footage that was. I'll have to find out what it was. White head, brown feathers. On the coast. Looked like it was looking at fish. In the water below, he had his head bobbing around. So tonight I've got my Tokes 750mm uh, titanium pot. Um, and just a cheap gas burner from go outdoors um, which works quite well it's quite heavy though um, and it fits all fits in there with the one of the little bottles I can't remember what size this is 100 gram that all fits in there the only thing that doesn't move that out of the way is these feet that come with it so I might try and engineer something else so that it all goes in there or maybe I'll find one of these um, on the internet somewhere, smaller and lighter. But I like it because it sits down low, so you don't you, you don't put your. It's not one of the ones that you screw straight into the top, and then you've got like a your pot up here somewhere because that's like quite unstable. Whereas this one, it's a separate burner, and it's nice and nice wide feet on it. So um, yeah, I like it. Plus, it's a lot easier than the the little alcohol stove that that I've got. It's all rusted out, and yeah, it's a bit knackered. Bless it. But yeah, so that's it. With the uh, the car reflectix cosy, and tonight I have spinach and ricotta pasta. Um, with olive oil and uh, not mozzarella, the other one, parmesan and pepper. So it should be good. Fingers crossed. But fingers crossed, we'll get a sunset just to the right of the island and um, in between the cloud or underneath the cloud should light this cloud up beautifully that's the, that's the thinking that's the thinking but, uh, whether that's actually what happens or not I don't know but I've got the pasta on the boil and uh, yeah, going to have a bit of dinner now 
could only fit half the pack in there, which is probably a good thing. I can have some now, have some later on. And uh, yeah, the beers are, they're not warm, but they're not cold either. This one is a Ralph, I believe it's brewed on the island. Yep, brewed on the island, 4.8. Um, yeah, it's a nice beer that. Pale ale. They also do a golden ale. Um, there's some really nice beers brewed on this island. right I have my down jacket on my rab down jacket it's actually there's a night you can probably hear it on the microphone hopefully you can still hear me there's a nice little breeze going through which should be lovely tonight um, yeah it's nice I've just realized how disgusting this jacket is uh, it's just over a year old and I've never washed it <laughs> So uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to get myself some some uh, stuff to clean this because it is rank and it's probably not working effect very effectively either. Um, all those, uh, all that beautiful down stuck together. It's looking like it's gonna be a pretty crap sunset. <laughs> It's this time of year, early summer, there's a lot of moisture in the air. Now I've got the second load of pasta on. Can I have that? I've got some fig rolls, I've got some chocolate, and more importantly, I have another beer. Um, so, oh, hang on a minute, pasta's poisoned over. So it is five past nine, the sun is about to go down, somewhere yonder. So I've set up the uh, the bivy bag, sleeping bags all uh, to settle in. Like I say, it's about nine o'clock, just gone. So I'm gonna get my head down and hope that this cloud clears. I get to see some stars. It's actually not a bad spot because I could do this after after work one evening and uh, 
you still get to work on time the next day. Can't remember the guy's name. Um, he's on YouTube, he's written a few books. He cycled around the world. Um, oh, he's done loads. And um, yeah, he said, uh, everybody worries about the nine to five. But then you've got that 16 hours in between that you can use. Um, I think we all lose sight of that. Well, most of us do anyway. There's a few of them out there that use it. To work to live, not live to work. Because all this is out there somewhere waiting for you. Anyway, I think that will probably be it. Hopefully the evening will be uh, non-eventful and I'll just get some sleep. And uh, catch you in the morning for breakfast, which I think is going to involve a uh, slightly cheesy tea. A bit of a mistake melting parmesan cheese in my uh, in my one and only cooking pot <laughs> I think I got it all out but that could be interesting so uh, yeah cheesy tetley in the morning and uh, and a couple of bananas so yeah looking forward to that <laughs> Nearly a full moon tonight, which I didn't realise. So if the light from the lighthouse doesn't keep me awake, the light from that probably will. <laughs> or the mosquitoes. I don't normally get bit by mosquitoes, but I just found two sucking on my elbow. Flying around my head. A bit weird. Even so, it's lovely to be out here. Listening to the waves crash against the rocks. Well, more like slosh. There's not really any waves out there. It's quite flat tonight. it's all about finding your happy place Morning folks, it is just gone seven, um, yeah, that was a warm night, had to, um, I don't know if you can hear that noise in the background, the seagulls are kicking off this morning, <laughs> right, here they come. Noisy bastards. 
Uh, yeah, it was a warm night. I don't think it dropped below 18 degrees last night, probably something like that. Um, so the my red Van Gogh, which is the warm one, um, that was completely unnecessary last night. I had it zipped, un unzipped nearly all the way down and folded over. Plus I took my t-shirt off and pulled the bivy bag down as far as I could. But I didn't want to get out of the bivy bag because I thought this morning was going to be uh, damp. <coughs> so um, I didn't want the sleeping bag getting soaking wet. But it isn't. It's sticky because of the uh, salt air, but um, it's not damp. It's, uh, yeah, interesting night. Didn't get very much sleep. I've uh, been watching too much Walking Dead. <laughs> so, a uh, couple of really freaky dreams. And then, uh, over on the point behind me, um, I woke up, uh, I don't know, I think it was about half past one, and um, just sat up and had a look around, and there was, um, like head torches, it looked like they were walking around, but I didn't see them, so I think they must be fishing off the point. Um, so yeah, went back to sleep and then dreamt that I was being dragged off up into the trees or something ridiculous. And I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, super peaceful. Super peaceful. So, I'm going to get some cheesy water on the boil and uh, have a cup of tea. I shall catch you in a bit. So, got the tea steeping. Um, yeah, I think the problem was last night that um, I can't remember what time the moon actually set, but it must have been around about three o'clock, I guess. Up until that point, it was so bright. I mean, the, the skies cleared up probably half an hour to an hour after the sunset. So, um, it was crystal clear skies the entire time the moon was up so uh, it was almost like daylight down here it was crazy i didn't so much so i didn't even notice that the um the lighthouse was on um yeah so uh, i think that kind of uh, kept me awake stopped me from falling into a deep sleep But it was nice though. I'm tired, but a nice tired, rather than tired from stress of work or something like that. Yeah, I'm not really sure what's going to happen this year, um, trip-wise. Um, it's nearly a year since I did um, West Highland Way, which was awesome. Um, but uh, this year things are a bit different so yeah, I'm not really sure what's going to happen I've got a lot of time off in December so I might do something before I go home for Christmas um, apparently it's quite a good time of year to do um, Nepal so I was thinking maybe the uh, base camp trek um, or I was thinking maybe a staycation in Mallorca and doing the GR221 again but walking all the way up the west coast so right the way up to Cap Formentor I think it's about another 50 k's on what we did um, and then walking back to Poyenza 
seeing how it goes, I guess. And yeah, I'm not really sure to be honest. It's going to be last minute if I do anything. Um, I want to try and get to Montserrat um, because that's it's what 25 30 minute flight from here, and then it's a couple of hours on the train out of Barcelona. And the train from Barcelona to Montserrat is something like oh, stupid money, it's like 18 euros return or something, so that'd be pretty cool. And there's a bit of hiking up there, although it's going to be warm. Um, Yeah, I think it'll just be little weekend trips and uh, keeping it nice and cheap. Right, so I've just noticed that I've got uh, very little battery left. I'm on the NEX and the batteries are uh, probably about four years old, something like that. So they're not doing too bad, um, but it's chewed through this one. So that was the spot last night, leave no trace. Stunning view to wake up to, even if it is a bit cloudy. So that as they say is that, uh, a cup of tea wasn't too cheesy, so that was nice. <laughs> um, yeah, just a 35, 40 minute walk back to the truck and then off home. Hopefully for a, out for a bike ride today. Um, nice weather for it, a bit overcast. Perfect this time of year. Anyway, till the next one. Adios.